We'll look at one more keyword, and I promise that's it <laughs> for now. I realized that we used the self keyword in the previous tutorial without really discussing fully what it does. For static class members, we don't use the this keyword, we use self. That in the scope resolution operator allows us to access static properties and methods. The self keyword does not require a dollar sign before it, unlike the this keyword. The dollar sign is pushed towards the static property, whereas for non static access with the this keyword, the dollar sign is stripped from the property name. To access a non-static property or method, you append the object operator to the this keyword. To access static properties or methods inside the class, you use the self keyword followed by the scope resolution or the double colon operator. Static properties and methods can be returned from both static and non-static methods. So we already looked at the use of self in the previous tutorial, and to tell you the truth, I mean, if you feel comfortable with it, you can just go ahead and skip this the remainder of this tutorial, but if you want a little bit more of a recap and look at a couple more examples, then stick around. But what we ended up doing here was we created a static property called number of dogs created, and right below that we created a static method, and both this property and this method are within the German Shepherd class. Now these are both class members, and to access them you do not need to instantiate the class. If we go to our static keyword, tutorial that we did. I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this and I'm going to put it in the new file called self keyword. And what I want to do is I just want to delete all those and we can keep all this other stuff. So we include the German Shepherd, not PHP class. The GS dog is equal to new German Shepherd, which just instantiates the class. We don't need to do this, but we just went ahead and did it anyways. And once we instantiated it, then at that point, the construct calls the update number of docs created. Now, in order to access this method right here, the update number of docs created method, because it is a static method, we can't use this, the keyword, like we've been doing right here. We have to use self, followed by the scope resolution operator, followed by the method name. In that instance, it calls this method and it basically just calls the static property. So inside this static method, it's gonna want access to the static property. So how do you gain access to it? With the self keyword followed by the scope resolution operator. Now, if you pay attention right here, the difference between self and this, like we outlined in this uh, introduction, is that with this, dollar sign is appended before the this keyword, and then it's stripped from any property name. So we're inheriting these properties somewhere up uh, above either dog or mammal or animal. And then we take away the dollar sign from here. And this keyword is prepended with the dollar sign. With self, it's pretty much the opposite. You have the self keyword and then the dollar sign. Also, in order to access an instance method, you use this object operator. And in order to access a static property or method, you use the scope resolution operator. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, I'll create a one more method, public. And this one is gonna be an actual instance method get number of dogs created plus two. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to make sense. And all we want to do is return two plus, and then in order to access, so you can't access number of dogs created, you have to access it by using the self keyword followed by the property, the static property name. So all we're going to do is we're going to be calling this method a little bit later, and it's gonna return two plus the number of dogs created. So let's just go to over here. So all we did right here is just echo out number of instances created, and then call the German Shepherd class, followed by the scope resolution operator, followed by the static property number of dogs created. Then we call the static method, update number of dogs created, and then display that again. And now, since we have instantiated the German Shepherd dog, we could just say number of dogs created plus two. And then what we'll do is concatenate GS dog because it returns it. And what do we call that? Get number of dogs created plus two. So then we're calling this method. Let's open this up in our browser. Open up the self keyword. 
And there it is. So number of instances created is one, updated again, two. So we're calling both of these, the static property and the static method. And then we're calling an instance method. And that instance method is calling the static property inside there. It adds two to it and then returns it, which two plus two is equal to four. So we get that. And that's really all there is to the self keyword. I just kind of wanted to reiterate it because I kind of flew through it in the last tutorial. And we want this tutorial series to be pretty detailed.